Hello viewers, in this video I will be taking you to North Vancouver to visit a very popular tourist attraction. It's called the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Here I'm driving over the Iron Workers Memorial Bridge or a lot of locals call it the Second Narrows Bridge. Now if you wonder if there's a First Narrows Bridge, there is. Actually the Lionsgate Bridge is the First Narrows Bridge but most people just call it the Lionsgate Bridge. This Iron Workers Memorial Bridge was named because in 1958 when it was built 18 workers died after a span of the bridge collapsed. After crossing the bridge you'll continue on Highway 1. Now this is the same highway you'll be driving on if you want to go up to Whistler that's a popular and famous ski resort in British Columbia. After arriving at the Capilano Suspension Bridge, there is a paid parking across the street. After you park your vehicle, proceed to purchase your ticket to get into the park. The rest of the video clips you see here were taken with my Geek Pro action camera. Once you enter, you'll find several short walking paths with totem poles. You can take pictures. To give you a little history of where the word Capilano comes from, it's actually a First Nations name belonging to the Squamish Nation. The original name is Kia Palano, meaning beautiful river, and was named for one of the great Squamish chief that lived in the area in 1800s. Right now I am walking on the cliff walk. This is a new addition to the park. It was opened in June of 2011. This is a suspended walkway hanging above the Capilano River. As you can see, there were many tourists visiting during my visit, and that's why there were many times where I had to stop and wait. This cliff walk is not for the faint of heart if you're scared of heights. As you can see, it hangs off the granite cliff. The view you get from this vantage point is amazing. This shows the erosion you get from water, 15 years, 25 years, and 50 years. This is the Capilano Suspension Bridge. The very first bridge was built in 1888 by a Scottish civil engineer and land developer. The bridge was made of hemp rope. It was later replaced with wire cables in 1903. In 1956, the bridge was completely rebuilt and now the park sees over 800,000 visitors yearly. The bridge stretches 460 feet or 140 meters across and it's 230 feet or 70 meters above the river.
When you get to the other side, there are more things to see. There's a Nature's Edge boardwalk. If you follow the treetops adventure, you'll find seven more small suspension bridges. All these bridges are connected together so you can walk from one to the other. It's amazing to see some of these trees are 300 years old. In the park, there are two herons that live here. One is called Henry and the other one is Henrietta. And we happen to see one of them catching a fish and eating it. After walking through the treetops adventure, now I'm going back to the other side of the bridge. There are actually employees on both sides of the bridge monitoring to make sure nobody rocked the bridge or jump up and down. As these people found out when they tried to take a picture while jumping up and down, the loudspeakers came on telling them to stop. In total, I spent about three hours at the park and it was very enjoyable. The weather was beautiful. The trees provided plenty of shade, so it's an easy walk. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this video as I definitely enjoyed my time at Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. If you ever get a chance to visit Vancouver, definitely check out this place. See you guys later.